Thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're gonna have a look at the latest shaft from Fujikura, the 2021 Vista Pro. So it's a replacement for the original, well, not the original Vista Pro, but the 2016 model Vista Pro, which has been around for five years. It's pretty rare to have a shaft last for five years in the market, actually. So it's done really, really well, um, but it was time for a little freshen up. So the guys at Fujikura have um, learned a lot, obviously with uh, VeloCore and, and Ventus. Um, so they've put some of that knowledge into the latest uh, updated 2021 version of, of Vista Pro. It's made from a 40 ton carbon. So basically what that is, it's, a, it's like a stiffness rating. So if you get something that's you know 70 ton, it's gonna be a lot stiffer um, based on the weight, basically. So we have all these terms, T800, T1100, um, 40 ton, 70 ton, all these sort of things. They refer generally to stiffness of the shaft. Now, um, with this Vista Pro, they use um, a pretty low, they call it high carbon content um, or low resin content. Or So basically what you get is you get carbon joined in with glue, epoxy resin. And so they're really high quality carbons. You don't need to use much, uh, much glue to, to join the fibers together. Whereas if you've got you know, an, an ordinary carbon, then you, you jam a whole bunch of glue in it and it's fine. Um, you know, it's like if you, if you over prep a tip of a shaft and it gets a little bit, a little bit narrow, you, you stick a whole bunch of glue in there and sometimes it's okay. I mean, it's not the ideal situation, but um, basically these good quality shafts are made with a higher carbon content and a lower resin content. So let's come and have a look at the, the graphics of the new shaft. Um, Basically what we've got here, starting at the left here, we get the lightest at, at 45 R3. Now, an R3 flex is uh, basically, you know, what we'd call a ladies flex, I suppose. Um, the R2 flex is, is what we'd refer to as like a seniors. And then the, the, the others are a normal S for stiff and an X for extra stiff. But, you know, they go from the 48 grams in the R3 all the way up to the 75.5 in the 75X. So you just see a progressive, progression, sorry. You know, you can't get a 45 in X. X is only available, available in 65 and 75 as we move across to here. And these are basically the whole, that's the whole range there. So with that whole range, the great thing about the range is that it's what we call a flighted shaft, a flighted line of shafts really. Um, so if you're doing a fitting and you find that the shaft, you know, might have a little bit too much launch or a little bit too much spin, you just go up to the next model. So instead of going, if you say start at a 55 regular, then just move up to a, maybe a 55 stiff or move up to a 60 regular. You know, you can make, it's, it's progressively stiffer flight comes down, spin comes down as they get heavier. Okay, so it's a real fitter shaft, this one. We'll certainly be having it here. Um, for those that have come in recently, you'll be noticing some big changes. Um, our fitting center will be up and running uh, hopefully pretty soon. So um, keep a lookout for, for that coming out too. So I've basically decided today to test out, there's the flip side of the graphic, really sharp, Bright graphics. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to test out a 60 gram stiff. I'm going to test it against the old Vista and see what the differences are. Now, basically, um, the new Vista Pro has got a little bit, little, little tiny bit softer in the tip, a little bit softer in the butt comparatively to to the 2016 model, but a much firmer midsection. So it'll be interesting to see how it reacts now. The 60 gram here has got, it's, it's got 5.0 degrees of torque um, and the butt stiffness is 116 and 87, sorry, 116 in the tip and 87 in the butt. Um, compared to, you know, the previous model, Vista, 
um, it had 118 tip flex, 86 butts. They're almost identical with those button tip flexes, but the profile is different. So, um, you know, 63 grams and 4.3 torque, 65 grams and 5.0 torque. So you've got, you know, you can look at numbers all day. At the end of the day, you gotta look at the AI profile as well. So for those people, and I've said this before, if you're just looking at torque numbers or if you're just looking at um, even a CPM, it's only taken at a butt. So you've gotta look at how the shark performs, run it through its, uh, um, you know, give it a good test. Now, you know, maybe in coming weeks, I might run through some heavier and, and stiffer options. The, the 60S might be a little bit soft for me. But we'll see how we go. I'm going to go out in the sim. It's a, a little bit of a miserable day, but that won't stop us here. And uh, go and hit some balls and see how we go. So I decided to hit a few balls with the TSI-3 in the 2021 Vista Pro. And, you know, after hitting a few, um, you know, I decided that it might be best off to, to throw another head in it as well. Um, just looking at, you know, the one that says driver is the, um, the TSI-3, 150 ball speed, which is good. Uh, 3200 spin which which is still high so it's getting kind of high spin with only you know 11 degrees launch and you know pretty low descent uh, low height so it wasn't a great combination I thought oh, I wonder what would happen if I put the Strixon ZX7 head in which which isn't a high spinning head by all means but just a little bit more normal uh, and that got the height up to 30 meters the launch up to 14. So those are nice numbers, but kind of as expected, I suppose, um, you know, only picked up two meters because the spin went up, you know, 350 RPM to 35, 68 on average. So it's a beautiful feeling shaft, uh, but these numbers would indicate, you know, that for me personally, I probably should move up into maybe the 65S, something of the like have a look at the grouping for all and they were similar that you know the Strixon went a little bit further than the Titleist I probably hit a couple more straight shots um, with the Strixon I've got the you know the setup is is okay now to read spin on my sim I've been working on, on trying to get those numbers a little bit more accurate but you know you can see it's a little bit left and right the standard deviation front to back is okay that's quite good um, but the lateral is pretty, a little bit wild actually for me. So have a look at the 3D pictures. You know, it sort of gets up in the air and, and comes down a little bit vertical at times with those spin numbers. So um, there you go. There's the there's the numbers on the shaft. So as I said, I, I put it in with the Strixon ZX7. Just to try and get a little bit more launch out of it, a little bit more realistic launch. The Titleist is very, very low. Um, the, the color scheme matches nicely with it, actually. It's a bit of a match made in heaven, really. Gloss black and red and white. Looks great. Um, so overall, the feel, um, great. Yeah, really good feel. Uh, I suppose you do get more feel with more spin, generally. That's probably fair to say. Um, for me, like I, I mentioned, I probably need to go up to a 65S at least to try and knock a little bit of the spin down and get a little bit more distance. But overall, you know, I think it's great. I think it's a nice product. I think they've done a, a, a great job with the graphic. It's a nice upgrade. It, it, it feels like you can have a little bit more of a hit at it rather than the, the previous model was, was probably felt a little bit softer than this one. So well done, uh, Fujikura, another great product out there. Um, and I'll be looking forward to, to having a little sneaky hit with it on the golf course too and see how it goes there. So um, launching, well, already launched, really. They're out. You'll see them on uh, sydneygolftech.com.au pretty soon, um, like a, a, around that 189 price point. So at the price point, it's um, 
definitely well worth a look, particularly particularly for those slower swing speeds, 100 under, I would say. Um, in my, my limited experience with it, I've just hit you know probably 40 or 50 balls with, with it um, today only. So anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you click on like and subscribe. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see and we'll see you in the next video.